Hey everybody, this is Buddy from V's here, and today I'm doing my movie review for G.I. Joe Retaliation. Here I have G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra. Uh, my opinion, this was a pretty decent movie. I actually enjoyed it. Uh, this, this, uh, movie here. And I don't know why, I just thought it was... I just find it always fun to watch. Uh, I've rewatched it, I've watched it a couple times now, actually. Um, and I really do like this. Um... No, G.I. Joe Retaliation wasn't was it good. Was the 3D good? Because the 3D was pushed back, you know, for them to do it. Uh, the movie was pushed back for them to do 3D. Personally, the 3D was awesome. Um, secondly, uh, the movie was really good. I enjoyed myself. Bruce Willis was in it. He played an awesome character. Um, Cobra Commander looked cool. You know, he looked like Cobra Commander. <laughs> You had, um, Snake Eyes, you know, done right, not with that crappy mouth, you know, that was so stupid. Um, Storm Shadow was cool. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, but there is an, a lot of unexplained absences of characters in Jojo Retaliation. Uh, like Scarlet is not in it, uh, Whipcord's not in it, I mean, General Hawk's not in it, I mean, you know, you didn't really need any of these characters, but they could have explained where they are, you know. Um, big disappointment was Destro, was not in it, and that was so freaking stupid to me, like, you have one of the coolest G.I. Joe characters, you build him up in this movie, you make him your main, you know, he's pretty much the, when you think of it, he's the main bad guy of this movie here, G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra, you build him up, the very end, you, you know, give him his, you know, mask, you make him the villain that he's gonna become, and then all of a sudden you have, oh, Destro, you're out of the band! That was so stupid. They really should have put Destro in G.I. Joe Retaliation, because that would have been awesome. Like, that was... Wasn't that one of the reasons, you know, why? Like, what was the point of even having Destro in R Rise of Cobra? They could have had pretty much anybody then be the arms dealer, or the uh, CEO of the Mars industry or whatever. Like, they could have had anybody play that. Well, why have Destro... When you're not going to use him in this movie, and you're going to save him for a sequel, but then yet you don't use him in the sequel. That really just made no sense at all. Um, but yeah, the, the, the special effects were good. Much better than this. This was laughable, the special effects uh, in this. Laughable. Like, bad. <laughs> but this, the 3D was really good. The acting is not top notch, you know. It's it's not Oscar contender. You had you know Lady J in it, Flint, Roadblock, The Rock was awesome. Uh, Lady J, if you know what I mean, you know she she was pretty awesome in that movie too. You, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, Psst, you know what I mean. Anyways, overall, I have to give the movie a solid. You know, actually, you know, I'm not giving it that. I, I thought it was really good. I'm giving this a four point five out of five. This was a really good movie. Um. Oh, another thing too, just on a side note, I saw the Iron Man 3 trailer in 3D. Whoa. That. Is sick. That looks so cool. In 3D, and I cannot wait to see that. And it was really good. I know, I was I was satisfied with the movie. thought it was really good. Anyways, I don't know your thoughts on the G.I. Joe movie franchise. That's my question. So the G.I. Joe franchise, um... I was thinking about doing some G.I. Joe toy reviews. I'm a huge G.I. Joe fan. I mean, back as a, you know, 10 year old, that's all I did. Uh, so, anyways, leave any requests for doing G.I. Joe stuff, uh, and just talk. Just tell me all about your G.I. Joe experience, or what you thought of the movies, and that's all. Anyways, uh, that's all I have to say about the movie. Um, and I will see you tomorrow where I do some comic reviews. I got a freaking stack here, man. So, uh, yeah, peace.